Hello, baseball fans. Thanks for joining us on this October morning. Here's some real power at the plate. Tim Wood. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now it's Randy Rosarena. First offering. Runner goes. Throw to second. Great jump. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And now he looks it back to second. The 1-1. One -one. Rudder breaks for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. That was been close. Judge rips that one. Aaron Judge leads the yard. That's his third home run of the series. It's 2-0. One down. Austin Riley getting ready to hit. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Righty to the plate. Hard hit right side. Lux throws the first in time. Yeah, there's two away. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. On the ground, right side. Freeman takes it himself. Out number three. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Here's a speed threat, Gavin Lux. The second baseman. Gavin Lux. Here's a 1 1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's a 1 2. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. One and two here. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The next pitch misses. Three and one. Chris, when you look at Justin Verlander, what makes him so good on the mound? Well, I would say in the prime of his career, the fact that as the game went on and he got deeper into his outing, he actually gained more velocity and became more crisp. So he was one of those classic pitchers that you said, we don't get him early, we're not going to get him at all. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. New inning getting started. Now in for the Braves, Vaughn Grissom. And it's even up. And the right-hander deals. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
battling here as he fouls it away. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Right hander kicks deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Here's a 1 1. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. The 1 2. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Out there to center. Peralta under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Luis Rangifo. And here it comes. Now fly ball to right center. Wood, long run on his horse. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That was an exciting play all the way around, man. He ripped that thing into the gap, and a great effort. Almost hauled it in on the dive, and would have been a beautiful play to save extra bases. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena brings it in, and there's one down. Next is the Dodger DH, Trace Thompson. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Struck him out without a swing. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Chris Taylor now. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. In the dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And here is Ozzy Albies. The pitch. And another ball. Two ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Next one just misses. Full count now. In the air, left side. Guriel has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Tim Wood singled and scored his first time. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Come back to the mound. Tosses the first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. 
And next for Atlanta, Randy or Rosarena. Caught looking his first time up. Is a 1-1. Right through there for a strike. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at the ballpark, David Peralta at the play. The center fielder. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Grab ball to first, could be two. Goes to second for one. Relay to first, double play. Man, that is such a tough double play to execute as a first baseman. To not only field the ball and make a good throw to second with a runner in the baseline, but also to hustle back to first base and get set up to receive the return throw. That takes great footwork and an awareness of where the bag is. A lot of practice to get that one right. In the air to left, down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. The one, two. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team, and it boosts the OBP board. Sometimes that trade-off is worth it, but well, sometimes it's not. Kicks and deals. Riel gets a piece. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit and a swing and a miss and that's that as we go to the top of the fourth now in for the Braves Aaron Judge That one hit to right. Ring Hifo under it. Pulls it in for the out. Here's Austin Riley. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. The 1 1. Swing and a foul straight back. Hot shot to third. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Grounded out his first time. One one now. That one pulled foul. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. That's inside. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. That one is gone. The Rockets one to right, and they add a run. It's 3-0. So two away with nobody on. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Vaughn Grissom struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a ball popped up. And that is that.
and welcome back. Bottom four, and now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. That one ripped. Way back. And out of here. An absolutely majestic shot. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. So here's the cleanup hitter. Luis Rangifo doubled his first time up. Next offering is in for a strike. That was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. In the air, right side. Squeezes it. One down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The batter now will be Will Smith. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Wood should have this one. Makes the grab. Two down. And now the DH, Trace Thompson. The designated hitter. Trace Thompson. Swing and a miss. One and two. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a look. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Check swing. He went. And the count one and two. Got him swinging. And there's one down. So up next, Travis Dardo. He's over one. Ball to strike. The pitch. Oh, that's out. Now a check oh, swing, but he held up. Next offering is foul back. 3-2. And that one hammered. Way back there. And that one is going to go. Travis Darno hits one out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Glide out his first time. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Now Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now it's going to be Tim Wood. Next offering is in for a strike. Albies at first, one gone. That one ran inside, almost got him. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for another play. Swings and misses, struck him out. Randy or Rosarena, next up for the Braves. May over to first. Albies dives back in. At the belt and fires. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one misses, and it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. This one smoked out to left. Guriel handles the chance.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. David Peralta steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Runner, runner, the runner. kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Tag. Ow. Darnell, great throw. Down. Picks up strikeout number seven. Two outs, base is empty. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He hit into a double play his first time up. The 2-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. To the right side. Gets it to first. Third out. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Phil Bickford. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's already homered in this game. Gonna count one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. This guy has turned into a beast. That one in for a strike, two and two. And this is inside. Payoff pitch. On the ground. Knocks it down. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Two outs. Space is empty. Matt Olson up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Oh, he dropped it. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Up the middle. Fires over to first. And Olsen is set down. And the inning is over. Back here in L.A., bottom of the sixth inning. And now it's Gavin Lux. Swing and he breaks his back. Not in time, he legs it out. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. That pitch got way in on him and he couldn't do much with it, but good hustle to get up the line and turn that into an infield single. Lifted in the air, right center field. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Here comes a pitch. 
And a foul ball. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Here's a 1-2. Nope. Lux leads off first with one away. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. All these under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. One for two. And he deals. And it's fouled away. One, two now. Got him swinging. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. J.P. Fire Eisen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Vaughn Grissom now at the plate. The pitcher, Vaughn Grissom. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now, Marcelo Zuna. And a foul ball. No outs, runner on second. Next pitch way upstairs. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. Swing and a miss. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. The punch out there, two away. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And a 1-1. One -one. That one lifted to left. Guriel handles the chance. New pitcher for the Braves, Joe Jimenez. Now pitching for Atlanta. Number 77, Joe Jimenez. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Out to short. Grissom. In plenty of time to first. And they get the out on Smith. And next for L.A., Trace Thompson, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. Well, both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. This one lifted in the air, left field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. 
Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now they turn to Alex Reyes. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. And now the center fielder, Tim Wood, one for three. Right-handed reliever. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Man at first, Randy or Rosarena will hit next. The 1-1. Pitch out, but no action. The 2-1. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Wood gets his lead at first with nobody out. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. The pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's a guy who does it all. The 1-1. One, one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Pickoff throw. Wood dives back in safely. Two and one on Judge. Inside, just missed. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a payoff pitch. Got him looking. And there's two down. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Righty delivers. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he went around. Rule the swing. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Daniel Hudson into the game, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Daniel. Here is Matt Olson. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Got it by him for the K. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, A.J. Minter. Now, bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. David Peralta steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 
And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That one laced the center in a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. High fly ball out into left center field. A Rosarena calls it in, and there's one away. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Next pitch is outside. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. In the air, out towards right center. And makes the grab. And there are two down. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Peralta off the first with two away. And one and two. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. All set for the start of the inning. Now the batter now, Vaughn Grissom. Good eye right there. This to third. Throw on to Freeman. Now one gone in the ninth. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Kicks and fires. That one missed. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Travis Dardo. And the right hander deals upstairs. And the two two popped up. Taylor has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. 3-4-5 due up for the home team. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Luis Rangifo. Pitch is in there. That is strike two. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys 
have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. One and two now. Ground ball up the middle. All these. Over to first. Just one out remaining for the Dodgers. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The pitch. There's a strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Thank <laughs> you.